Hey everyone, thank you for joining me for another tutorial. I'm Mordi from eifeed.com, the source for your elementary design inspiration. If this is your first time on this channel, I do experiments in Elementor and I share them as step-by-step -step tutorials. And they also include JSON files for you to uh, use on your own projects. If you want to get an update every time a new tutorial is up, subscribe and click the bell icon. Today I'll show you how to create this um, strokes divider effect you can see in the bottom when you scroll kind of uh, jumps inside the first section this was actually inspired by um, this website and you can see the stroke divider here it's a bit more annoying here I don't really like the animation and the way it reacts, but I did love the way it transitions from one dark uh, section to a bright one. I think it's very immersive and I just like the way it looks, so I was trying to recreate the same thing uh, here in Elementor, just with a bit more logic to it. So this way it brings you into the next section's color. And it disappears and then you see the whole section and in the next one same thing it doesn't matter if you do it fast or slow you still get the same effect like the section just grows bigger somehow and takes more of the screen Okay, so let's go straight into the uh, file. What I did here, I just put a couple of sections just um, from the elementary blocks. I just chose some blocks just so I have that uh, negative positive design, like a very dark and very light. I changed the color a bit, but it's just uh, uh, blocks from elementor. And you can see the divider is a section, a separate section. Inside of it you have one column and the divider widgets. Okay, so I'll just delete this one and I'll recreate it. Just to show you how I made it. Add a section. It should be full width. With no gap. The height doesn't matter right now. The color should match uh, the second section's color. Right now, this one is overlapping it, so that's why you're not seeing the actual section I'm creating. So I'll move it for now. And we'll push it up uh, later. We have the section, now we just put the divider widget inside, color it, can remove uh, most of the gap, make it uh, two. I play with it a lot and I think I got the uh, very nice settings, but you can play with it yourselves and uh, see what you come up with. So now we just duplicate it. I just double the weight uh, for each one. So if the first one was two, this one is four. That's about it. Now we need the space between the widgets to be about the same as the width itself for each one. 
Um, the way we do it is start with the first one. Okay, so that's it. Now we have the design itself. Let's push the section back to its place. Now we want to create the animation. So the animation settings, it's a vertical scroll. You can play with it, you can do horizontal, you can do uh, maybe rotate it a little bit scale it, you can really create a lot of effects using the same system and just ch changing a few settings direction up, speed 6 and you want it to move from the middle of the screen not too much, maybe 70, 50 to 70 now we need to give the same settings to the other dividers Not you just hate those little things. <laughs> if anyone from Elementor has seen it, I wish I could input a number right here instead of dragging it by hand and trying to get it right. You could just click, put a number in, it will be a lot easier. So now we have the animation settings. That's it, you can see it already works. Now what I added to this, uh, because it looked a little bit static to me, so I added an animation to the whole section. To make it go up in the same speed while uh, the dividers are moving. So, six, same settings. Now it creates this kind of illusion. Oh, sorry, maybe it was not that fast what I used. Yeah, okay, so two, 50 to 100. You can see it gives it a bit more depth in the movement. When everything just moves together, it looks a lot better. Now all we need to do is to take the lower section and just push it up a bit so we can go under. Z index, this should be higher, so it's above the next section. That's it. Now for the, for the next one, all I did is just duplicate it. You can see there's another one at the bottom. Duplicate it and I just changed um, the color. So the, the divider's color should be the section above and the background of the whole section should be the section below. That's how we get it to uh, merge like that. Now you can try do some stuff for yourself, you can change the style to dots and maybe get a different effect. You can play with it, you can, you can take the JSON file, download, take this section and just play with it, make it your own. I think you can create a lot of different dividers just from using this uh, same system and just play with the settings a little bit
it's nice. Maybe I will just take um, this one because maybe half of the circle, and then it gives it more. Yeah, that looks better. So you can just play with it, take the same JSON file, create stuff with it. Um, I would love for you to show me whatever you do with it because. I'm doing those experiments just for myself and I have no idea if you actually use them or if they help you in any way, so I would love to see what you do with it. Thank you for watching. If you need anything, let me know in the comments below. As always, I would love to help you. I will be sharing more of these experiments, so uh, if you want to get an update, subscribe and hit the bell icon. Don't forget to visit eifee.com for more inspiration. As always, um, I collect the best elementary websites online. You can search for inspiration by categories, colors, anything you need to get yourself inspired. You can submit your own websites also. And uh, that's it. Until next time, stay inspired.